The air compressor works. Garage time. To prep this area, I have gone through multiple rounds of sanding. Number one is the xylene removal of all the residue from the adhesive used to attach the carpet and the sound deadening. Xylene works great, and then I, I use a wire brush on that, both a hand wire brush and a powered wire brush. Then all the painted surfaces are sanded with a DA sander or by hand with 180 grit. And then I come back on the bare metal and I do 80 grit on anything that's bare metal. It's a little harder to put scratches in the bare metal. Right now, I'm just starting to mask off the areas I don't want painted. I'm not gonna be painting up high on the dash. That's gonna be the body color. But all this is gonna get the epoxy black. I did not go to bare metal on the inside. It's really not necessary. This paint is in good shape. You can see the original color there. It's Prussian blue. I removed as much as I could of the factory seam sealer. It was a very broad brush application of the seam sealer. It was a little bit messy. So I am going to remove as much as I can, clean it up, and then reapply it after I put the epoxy down. Okay, I stopped at the halfway point because it was just getting a little too cloudy for me, too much overspray in this confined space, and I was starting to get worried about my eyes. So I got some goggles. This will be better for confined spaces, um, and it's also good to just take it slow. It's really difficult to spray inside here, especially with my full-size spray gun. So I am just gonna do it in two steps. Hope for the best. Yeah, this epoxy primer is pretty glossy and it'll stay about this glossiness because it's been about uh, 24 hours at least for this section. But you can see how difficult it is to prepare all these little nooks and crannies. If you look up close here, you can, you can see how there's a little bit of uh, unsanded area there. But uh, it's, so it's not perfect, but it's certainly good enough. Also, you can see back here, the glossy black is pretty unforgiving when it comes to these uh, hammer marks in the floor pan. You can see kind of every little hit. I did my best to make it look as good as possible. Uh, the intent with this is that, um, you know, minimal interior. So this, in a lot of ways, is the interior. So it'll be visible. Uh, some areas will get some sound deadening on top of it. Of course, the whole bottom of the car is undercoated, so that provides a little bit of sound deadening but I'll probably be adding some things like Dynamat on top. And the plan is to drive the car with nothing and then slowly add in more sound deadening in kind of strategic places where it w provides the most benefit. Uh, that's the goal. So it'll be, like I said before, a very Spartan interior. Um, I might use a couple garnish rails on the top, but um, you know, for the most part, it's gonna be sort of bare metal black. I only did one coat without the roll bar. I'm gonna be adding the roll bar hopefully next week. So that means welding in the roll bar permanently and then going back and touching up the areas that were welded and then probably one more final coat. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in this epoxy black or shoot it with a top coat. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I, I like the gloss on this, it's, it's kind of a semi-gloss. Um, I could do satin uh, top coat, it'd be a little bit more forgiving. Um, and I can try to do a better job with coverage and so forth with maybe a smaller detail gun. But let me know what you guys think. Also, I didn't have the heart to block out these doors. I got one Viper green and then one red door over there. And for some reason, I can't bring myself to do it. Okay, so one of the unique things about this car is it was junked out and left for dead. So part of its story is all the parts that I collected to put it back together. That's why the door is green, the other door is red, the deck lid is brown. I mean, it's really a hodgepodge of parts. And I'm considering leaving the color of all the parts, on the interior at least. You know, let me know what you think. Um, am I crazy or did I just do too much work this week and didn't have time to, 
to paint the uh, inside of the doors. I'll, I'll definitely be taking them off the car. But, you know, let me have your opinion on that. Uh, this week, you know, this was a short video, but uh, tons and tons of work just to spray, you know, half a quart of, of paint. It's uh, unbelievable how time flies when you're having to sand and prep and work in confined spaces. Definitely a ton of work. But uh, thank you again for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the like button, share the video, and uh, we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.